Welcome. This video will introduce and explain when and how to use CTK's on-site torch panel rapid test kit. The content of this video is for education and training purposes only. It is meant to be used as an educational tool for CTK's sales staff, distributors, and customers. Today, we will discuss torch infection and why it's important to screen for them. We will also highlight some product features and clinical performance, and be sure to stick around till the end for a short, fun quiz. First, what are torch infections? Typically, the acronym TORCH stands for toxoplasmosis, rubella, cytomegalovirus, and herpes simplex virus 1 and 2. They represent five infections that can cause serious symptoms in a pregnant woman, and they can potentially transmit to the fetus, causing severe congenital infection and major birth defects. In women of childbearing age, torch infections are extremely common on a global level with the prevalence of the individual infections ranging from 9% to 94%, which reinforces the importance of screening for them during pregnancy. Understanding each of the torch infection's unique methods of transmission assists with knowing what precautionary measures should be taken to prevent infection. With toxoplasmosis, or toxo, transmission is primarily through ingestion of contaminated food and water, or by exposure to contaminated cat fecal matter. Rubella is transmitted by airborne droplets from an infected individual. It's important to note that previous studies have shown that rubella is linked to autism spectrum disorders. Cytomegalovirus, or CMV, is transmitted by urine, saliva, and or other bodily fluids. It is commonly transmitted by sexual contact and is the most common viral infection that occurs in transplant recipients. Herpes simplex virus, or HSV1 and 2, can be transmitted by contact with cutaneous ulcers, salivary secretions, and sexual contact. Sexual contact can permit transmission of both HSV1 and 2, but HSV2 is the main cause of genital herpes, and studies have also linked HSV1 infection to certain cancers. Next, we'll discuss why it's important to screen for torch infections and the role rapid tests play in screening. For healthy individuals, torch infections pose low risk. However, torch infections can pose a high risk for a fetus, a newborn baby, or those who are immunocompromised. The high risk category can face severe physiological damage to vital organs, as can be seen here in the table, which highlights the importance of torch screening. Screening the high-risk category for a torch infection is important as it can allow for precautionary measures to be taken or any necessary medical attention to be determined. Torch screening before and during pregnancy provides an infection status and can allow pregnant women to plan accordingly. Lifestyle precautions may include safe sex practice in the case of CMV, HSV1, and HSV2, vaccination in the case of rubella, or proper pet care to prevent contact with cat fecal matter in the case of toxo. Determining that a pregnant woman is negative for torch infection allows her to minimize exposure and reduce the risk of acquiring a primary infection during pregnancy. Determining if there is a current or past infection highlights the importance of monitoring the developing fetus. For example, if a pregnant woman has an active herpes infection during pregnancy, plans can be made for a safe delivery. Immunoassays are the most commonly used method for torch screening and include immunochromatographic rapid tests, enzyme-linked immunoassays, known as ELISA, and chemiluminescent immunoassays, known as CLIA. With infection, IgM antibody levels begin to increase first when the body recognizes the pathogen and peak after a couple of weeks on average. As IgM decreases, IgG begins to increase and peaks at a later time point, then decreases gradually. 
In the table presented here, there are different interpretations for the status of torch infections depending on the results for IgM, IgG, and the combination of the two. If no IgM or IgG is present, then that indicates no infection and the person is at risk of acquiring a primary infection. The presence of only IgM antibodies indicates an acute infection. If both IgM and IgG are present, it indicates a late, acute, or recurrent infection. And finally, if only IgG is present, then a latent or past infection is indicated, and in some cases, such as rubella, protective immunity. When compared to other available screening methods, rapid tests should be the most user-friendly, as they provide faster results, require minimal training and equipment, and the cost is the lowest. Because of the overall advantages of the rapid test, they are an accepted methodology for use in almost all types of facilities. Since 2005, CTK has been proud to manufacture individual torch tests. Due to recent market demand and customer input, we developed and launched our Torch panel in 2016. Next, let's look at why you should use CTK's on-site Torch rapid test. First, each kit contains all supplies needed for screening, which includes 10 panel devices, 10 plastic droppers, two sample diluent bottles, and one package insert. The procedure for each of the five panels is very simple. First, add one drop of serum, plasma, or whole blood from the patient into each of the five sample wells using the dropper provided. Then you add two drops of sample diluent, wait for 10 to 15 minutes, and then read the result. Each of the five test panels provides results for both IgM and IgG status. Combine those 10 results with the semi-quantitative results for rubella IgG and the CTK Torch Panel Rapid Test offers 11 test results derived from one simple procedure. CTK's on-site Torch Panel Rapid Test also allows for differentiation of HSV1 and 2 by use of HSV glycoproteins G1 and G2 for type-specific detection. This is especially important during pregnancy because they have different outcomes for a pregnant woman or fetus. Knowing HSV2 status is important as it is associated with a higher risk of spontaneous abortion and is the most frequent cause of neonatal herpes. If a woman had a past HSV2 infection, the risk of fetal transmission during the pregnancy is very low, but during an active infection, the risk is much greater, especially at the time of birth. It's worth noting that the healthcare systems in many countries require HSV differentiation, and it may even be required for reimbursement. The on-site torch panel rapid test provides semi-quantitative results for rubella IgG antibodies. This means there are two test lines with different analytical sensitivities or limits of detection, or LOD. First, the G1 line has an LOD of 15 international units per milliliter, and second, the G2 line has an LOD of 250 international units per milliliter. These two IgG test lines help distinguish between active infection and protective immunity. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control and the World Health Organization, IgG positive levels greater than or equal to 15 international units per milliliter indicate protective immunity in most cases until the threshold for active infection. In the on-site torch panel rapid test for rubella, a positive G1 line only indicates protective immunity, and both a positive G1 and G2 line indicates an acute rubella infection. Our rubella test is also the first test that is compatible with whole blood specimens. If both IgM and IgG are negative, then this indicates that the person is at risk of acquiring infection and should take precautionary measures. These can include avoiding contact with cat fecal matter, getting vaccinated for rubella, and avoiding contact with individuals carrying a known infection of CMV, HSV1, and HSV2. 
Note that any interpretation or use of the test result from this panel must also rely on other clinical findings and professional opinion. If only IgM is positive, then an acute infection is indicated. It's important to note that IgM detection can be affected by factors in the immune system, which makes IgG detection extremely important. Studies have shown that in CMV infection, IgM levels are detectable in both primary and recurrent infection. The presence of both IgM and IgG indicates an acute infection at a later phase or recurrent infection. If only IgG is positive, then a latent or past infection is indicated. In the case of rubella, protective immunity is indicated when only the G1 line is present. CTK's on-site torch panel rapid test offers reliable results and extraordinary convenience in most laboratory settings. No equipment and minimal training are required for use in this simple test procedure. It is compatible with serum, plasma, and whole blood specimens, and results are available in just 10 to 15 minutes. Storage temperatures between 2 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius are acceptable. How does CTK's on-site torch panel rapid test compare to other products on the market? In development of this novel torch panel rapid test, CTK focused on patient outcomes, ease of use, and superior performance. As part of our rigorous development process, we ran clinical evaluations against market-leading ELISA brands. The performance results show the on-site torch panel rapid test is compatible to these leading brand commercial ELISA kits. CTK even went as far as to make sure our test meets WHO's standards of limits of detection for toxoplasma and rubella screening. In direct comparison between CTK's torch panel rapid test and a competitor, the competitor's test fell short in several areas. First, CTK's test detects both IgG and IgM while the competitor test detects only IgM. This means that the on-site test provides more information about the infection status. Second, the on-site test is more convenient as it's compatible with serum plasma and whole blood while the competitor test is compatible with only serum or plasma. Third, the on-site test offers semi-quantitative rubella IgG results, which help distinguish between active infection and protective immunity, while the competitor test does not. And fourth, the on-site test distinguishes between HSV 1 and 2, providing important information for a pregnant woman, while the competitor test, like most other HSV rapid tests, does not. These four areas demonstrate the extensive features and performance of CTK's on-site torch panel rapid test when compared to the other recognized competitor in the market. To wrap up, let's review the key lessons. First, screening is important. Women should be tested before and during pregnancy to plan for proper prenatal care as early as possible. CTK's on-site torch panel rapid test is the only rapid test available to offer 11 easily interpreted test results in just 10 to 15 minutes. It distinguishes between IgG and IgM in all five infections, differentiates between HSV1 and HSV2, and provides semi-quantitative rubella IgG antibody results. Finally, our test was designed by considering leading brand ELISA test and has comparable clinical performance, but is faster, requires no extra equipment and only minimal training, and is less expensive. In addition to our torch panel rapid test, CTK also offers individual rapid tests for each infection. To learn more about CTK and our products, or for the latest updates, visit our website at ctkbiodeck.com and sign up for our monthly newsletter. For technical support, email us at tech at ctkbiotech.com. And finally, how about a fun, short, six-question quiz before you go? True or false? Since the prevalence of torch infections are so high among women of childbearing age, 
it is not necessary to screen for torch infection? The answer is false. A negative result indicates high risk of infection, suggesting preventative action. True or false, torch screening should be done before and during pregnancy. The answer is true. Which one of the following is not a common torch serological immunoassay methodology? Chemiluminescent immunoassay, or CLIA, enzyme-linked immunoassay, or ELISA, immunochromatographic assay, or rapid tests, or radioimmunoassay, or RIA? The answer is D, radioimmunoassay. Fill in the blank. The presence of blank indicates active infection. The answer is IgM. B. The presence of blank indicates recent, past, or chronic infection or protective immunity. The answer is IgG. Which of the following are not features of the on site torch panel rapid test? A. Small sample size of 10 microliters of specimen. B, can be used with serum, plasma, or whole blood. C, minimal training required. D, results in 60 to 75 minutes. Or E, simultaneous IgG and IgM detection and differentiation. The answer is D. Results are typically available in 10 to 15 minutes. And finally, what other brands of torch rapid tests detect IgG and IgM in each infection with a whole blood specimen? The answer is none. All done. How did you do? Did you get all six questions correct? If not, you can review this video at any time. And thank you for your time today. And remember, please visit us online at ctkbiotech.com.